What does the tax bill mean for San Diegans? We already pay a high state income tax and premium for housing. 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina is joining us now. Steve, you talked to several financial experts about the impact on housing prices alone. General consensus it won't have a great impact on housing prices here, except for those in the, uh, the general area of a million dollars or more. It's also going to have a little bit of an impact on not-for-profits, as we will watch as time goes forward. Charities could take a hit. Prices of more expensive homes might fall a little. It depends on attitudes and assessments. Itemizing taxes will still be there in 2018. It'll just be different. The final bill does allow us to itemize a deduction for both our property taxes and our state and local uh, income taxes. As a result, here in high cost of living California, where we pay a lot of taxes and we buy expensive houses, there's still a pretty good chance a lot of the folks here in Southern California are gonna continue to itemize. But the larger standard deduction will mean some people will opt out of itemizing. And that could affect the housing market driving up the monthly payment you have to make. San Diego clearly has expensive housing relative to the rest of, of the U.S. market. And I, I think it's safe to say that anytime the cost of owning that home goes up a little bit, that probably means the price has to come down a little bit. More expensive homes are likely to see less interest since you won't be able to deduct as much. That could in turn lower sale prices for those at the high end of the spectrum. I think we will see a slight depression, particularly in obviously homes that exceed the $750,000 mortgage cap. Now I touched on charities and not-for-profits. At six o'clock, we'll zero in more on that. Some saying it will have a massive impact, others saying maybe not. Live in Rolando, Steve Fiorina, 10.